Real quick, before I get into this video, I just want to say thank you to my YouTube family. Last week when I dropped my boot collection video, I asked y'all to tell me in the comments which Wyatt harness alternatives you guys knew that didn't break the bank so much. And you gave me so many suggestions, I had to share the wealth in this video. So special thanks to y'all. I appreciate you. We're probably going to piss off a whole bunch of SLP fanboys, but you know I don't care. Let's do this. Oh, I'm a pretty man. Oh, that's that ugly style. Now for those that don't know about SLP, AKA Saint Laurent, they're a French luxury fashion house. They started way back in like 1961 and they had a resurgence between the years of 2012 and 2016 under the creative direction of Eddie Slamont. And from this new era, not only came this rock star cowboy vibe that we know them for today, but also a very popular boot called the Wyatt. And whether we're talking elastic, zip construction, a jot for buckle, or my personal favorite, the harness version, there's no doubt that this is the most popular stacked heel Italian made leather boot out. But does popular automatically mean the best? Of course not. And on top of that, everybody doesn't have a thousand dollars or more to spend on these boots. It's just not realistic for everybody. So in this video, I got four different boots for you that beat the SLP Wyatt in their own ways. And it basically just breaks down to overall silhouette, details, and of course, price point. And make sure to stick around to the end of the video because these boots right here top SLP in all three. Now this first one is the most affordable option is the Zara chain boot for $99. It has a genuine suede upper with a little bit of a patina or distressing on the toe, a slightly lower heel for a guy that maybe doesn't want such a high heel. You have that overall sleek silhouette that's like narrow but not too narrow and I feel like it's the best you're gonna find this price point and mostly because Zara started off as a footwear company. Don't forget that y'all. They made clothes second, shoes first. So I feel like they have the best shoes when it comes to fast fashion. And my favorite detail on these is the gunmetal hardware from the chain to the o-ring to the zipper now the trade-off in order to keep the price point so low they have to cut corners on material so the entire sole is going to be plastic polyurethane the lining on the inside is cotton so it's definitely not going to last you for life but if your budget is only a hundred dollars i feel like it's a really good choice next up we have the couples western boot it comes in black and brown and originally it was 460 bucks but now they're half off for two 30. Now these are obviously a step up in quality from the previous boot. You have a much more of a slim shaft right there on the ankle. The upper is even made of like full on calf leather. And on top of that, it has a leather lining and a leather sole as well. And it's also rocking a slightly lower heel for the guy that might prefer that. And the only drawback with these is that they're either made in China, Vietnam, or India. So you're not gonna get the same level of craftsmanship, but yet it's still a great boot to have at this price point. Now moving on up the price ladder, we got Story at Fall coming in at 320. This company's based in Stockholm, Sweden. They've been around since like 2014 and they meet the SLP criteria almost to a T. You have the very slim, narrow silhouette and they even have that heel counter that comes a little bit higher than that back strap, almost just like SLP, but a couple things are off in my opinion. The heel looks like it's a little bit like a touch short, but it could be the picture, I'm not sure. But then also the shaft looks a bit wide. Like I really wonder how these would fit under a pair of slim or skinny jeans. If you actually own these boots, if you ever tried these on, let me know right now in the comments how do they fit underneath your pants but beyond that these seem to be great alternatives for the price point and if you have the patience as well because what I hear from guys who order these they have to wait like a month plus to even get their boots and if you look at their website it is kind of janky like you got missing pictures everywhere like the thumbnails work then you click the product and it's like blank I don't know what's going on with the website but either way they have tanneries in the UK they have leather tanneries in France and then also Italy but I'm not sure where they're made so if you know where they're made let me know right now in the comments as well. And finally, we have the best boots on this list. The number one boot you guys suggested to me. The one true alternative to the SLP Wyatt Harness boot. And it's none other than a brand called From The First. Now this company is based in the UK, but everything about these boots is Italian top to bottom. The tanneries where they source their leather, Italian. The stockist where they source their zippers, Italian. Even the cotton for the stitching that holds the shoe together is Italian. These guys are not playing at all when it comes to the details. I mean, come on, look at these beauties, man. You see what's going on here? How gorgeous is this boot right now? Do you see what's happening? See that exposed zipper? What does that remind you of? Maybe a little SLP 2013 fall winter situation? Oh yeah, that's exactly what they got inspired by. And I know that for a fact 
because I did a little comment snooping under one of their posts of this boot. And they're actually huge fans of the Eddie era and SLP, and their goal is to really honor that by bringing a boot to the table that matches that without paying a thousand plus for a used pair. Yes, that is true. If you are not an SLP head, you would know that something coming from that era of SLP from 2012 to 2016 when Eddie Slimone was still there, those are held up as grills and you're going to get charged more for them. And he goes to point out that those shoes are even cemented, AKA glued on, and these bad boys are stitched. Do you see that? See that stitching detail on the bottom? These guys are not leaving any stone unturned, okay? They're all about the details, all about bringing the best quality shoe to the table, and in my opinion, as you can see right there, better. And it's mainly because all they do is make boots. Every other brand that I put in this video, including YSL, makes other things. But their sole focus at this company is making the perfect boot. And that's the kind of thing I can get behind, especially for half the price of the leading brand. So if you like these boots, I will link them down below in the description with all the rest of the brands in this video. And now that I'm done, I would love to hear your opinion on this whole subject. I'm sure I have SLP fans watching this right now. Some guys that had no idea this was even a thing and then everybody else in between. So let me know right now in the comments. Let's have some healthy discussion. Okay, no hate here, all love. I just respect everyone's opinion. I respect everybody's budgets, most of all, and everybody ain't got bread to spend on that or value them enough to spend a thousand dollars on shoes ever. If this video was interesting information for you, make sure to give your guy a thumbs up. If you hated it, give the video a thumbs down. If you haven't subbed to this channel yet, you should make that happen. Thank you so much for your time and I will see you on the next one. Peace.